Hi learners, I hope everyone is feeling fine and enjoying and listening to the video lectures regularly. This is Mrs. Asma Sehrab with a new video for you for the topic Wedding Customs. Dear learners, I want you to open your books at page 21 and focus on the pictures. You can see different couples of bride and groom here. We are going to read about wedding customs around the world. So what are customs? Custom is a common way of doing things. It is something that many people do and have done for a long time. For example, in some countries, bowing to el to older people or elder people is a sign of respectfulness. In some Muslim countries, um, you sit on the floor and eat. This is a custom. In Western countries, the meals are taken on table. That is their custom. Got it? Um, if we talk about the customs of Eid, we are having two Eids, Eid al-Adha and so Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. So on Eid days, um, we used to wear new and new or clean dresses. So this is our custom to wear new or clean dress. We eat sweets on Eid al-Fitr. It is our custom. It is also our custom that the elders give uh, rupees in a form of new currency to the children. This is a custom. So these are all customs. So it is. I think it is clear to all of you that what are customs. So custom, I'm repeating, custom is a common way of doing things and it is done for a long time. Now look at your books, please. Um, listen and read about wedding customs around the world. Are the customs the same or different in your country? Which custom do you like best? Okay. Uh, wedding kimono, kimonos. In Japan, the bride and groom often. Okay, look at the word. The word is, okay, you can pronounce uh, it as often as well as often. Both are correct. Okay. In Japan, the bride and the groom often wear a traditional kimono. Now, let me show you what is a kimono. Kimono is actually their wedding dresses. This is a wedding kimono for uh, for a groom, and a bride has is having a kimono here. This way, the girl who is there in the pink. This is a kimono for the bride. So both men and women wear a kimono. The kimono is very long and made of silk. I have shown you. Uh, the kimonos for the bride and groom in Japan. Okay, if we talk about uh, about the wedding dresses, like the the custom of the wedding dresses, we are also having um, uh, different. Like in the people, the countries around the world are having different uh, dresses for their um, weddings. Uh, here is wedding dress custom of English. English, the people of England are called English. So they are having, uh, the, like um, here in the picture, you can see the bride is wearing a long white dress and the, the groom is wearing a suit. So they, this is their custom that the bride will wear a white color dress and the groom will wear um, a suit. So this is their wedding. Okay, if we talk about the Pakistani wedding dress custom, so over here, um, like this is the Pakistani wedding dress for the groom and the bride. Okay, in Pakistan we are having uh, like we are having Punjabis, Sindhis, Balochis, and Pathans. So the Pathans mostly used to wear, it is the custom for the Pathans to use, uh, to, like the, the bride will wear red dress and the groom will wear shalwar kameez. And it is the custom 
of the Punjabis people here in Pakistan that they that the groom wear pagdi and sherwani and the bride wear langa or something like that. So this is this, these are the custom wedding custom dress of Pakistani Pakistanis. Okay, coming back to page number twenty-two. Throwing rice in some countries, the guests throw rice at the bride and groom after the wedding. In other countries, they throw flower petals. Now, like, what is the story behind the throwing rice? Like, um, story, story, like throw, toss, tossing rice or throwing rice at the end of the ceremony, or towards the bride and groom, uh, is the sign uh, of prosperity. is the sign of successful like they may uh, may uh, may god make them successful in their future or may uh, almighty allah give them a good future so the 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 rice is thrown because uh, to give them um a, a good like a good, a good sign of their future got it now another is hand pen painting in some countries like india the bride's family decorate her hands and feet with henna henna is mehndi you can see there you can see the picture there uh, henna is shown to you and all the hands are painted or decorated with henna so henna is made from the leaves of a plant it is used to draw pictures and patterns or you can say designs sometimes the name of the groom is written on the bride's hand and you know that um, if we talk about the custom of um, henna so henna is also used on eid occasions the females or the girls used to um, paint their hands with mehndi on um, weddings and on eids as, as well so it is a, also a custom got it I hope you are getting me. I am trying to like uh, comprehend uh, the passage in very easy words. Wedding lee in Hawaii and other South Pacific islands, the bride and the groom wear a necklace made of flowers or leaves when they get married. You can see there. It you can see it there in the picture. It is called a lie. The groom wears a lie made of leaves. The bride wears a lie. made of white flowers the lie smells very nice now wedding lies is a sign of love the couple has for each other got it okay um over here there was uh, a custom of throwing rice so let me add something more to the um, uh, to like i i want to add some more information or throwing the, some more information towards you the gesture is often seen as a sign of uh, like uh, highness by throwing rice the bride thanks her parents for feeding her so well since her childhood and having loved her so uh like dearly and so uh, affectionately uh, rice holds great in importance in hindu's culture so it is a symbol of prosperity or it is a symbol of uh, success theek hai so that was all about the wedding customs around the world so now they are asking you that um, are the customs the same or different in your countries in your country yes the customs uh, some of the customs are the same and some are different like um, we also used to throw um, rice um, or uh, sorry no we don't used to throw rice but we used to paint our hands with mehndi in uh, wedding occasions got it and i have also heard about throwing rice uh, custom or here in pakistan but i don't know the details you guys might know or you guys uh, should ask your elders about this custom as well and you can talk about many other customs with your mothers or your fathers after this lecture theek okay? hai and all of you guys should discuss these videos or these lectures with your uh, friends uh, in order to share the information um, among you ठीक है नाउ कमिंग 
okay yes here is a wedding custom of pakistan uh, you can see a guy is there a groom is there and he is um, riding a horse it is a custom over here in pakistan that the groom will uh, ride on the horse towards the uh, bride okay now let's do some gram grammar work as well um, it's here on page number 23 use of titles in english so we are having four titles mr mrs miss and ms okay it is the last one is pronounced as ms okay now let's see how they are used mr mr is uh, for example mr johns doesn't tell us the marital status like marital means like married status it like the 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 title of mister uh, does not tell us about the person being married or unmarried so if we are using the title of mister with anyone so we we don't know about his uh, marital status whether he is married or we he is not got it uh, and it is used the title of mister is used for uh, the gender male mrs for, for example mrs jones refers to a married woman so the the title of mrs is used for a married woman uh, the third one title is miss example miss may refers to an unmarried woman like this title refers to a to an unmarried woman if uh, if like and it is used for females um the fourth title is ms it is pronounced as ms examples ms an doesn't tell us the marital status like we we don't know about the marital uh status of that girl whether she is married or we um, she is unmarried okay let me give you an example of your teacher uh if you don't know about your teacher whether she is um, married or she is unmarried so you will call her ms nazia ms nabila ms um like your maths teacher i forgot her name sorry okay so like i gave you example of ms nazia now you know whether she is uh, she is married so you will use mrs nazia okay and uh, now um, let let us talk about the male as well male teachers so uh, let let's take an example of your computer teacher uh, sir adil now we don't know about his marital status uh, so we will uh, title him with mr mr adil okay and uh, if we know that he is um, so this was all for uh, the titles in english use of english use of titles in english okay guys now um your home assignment do page number 18 activity 1 and 2 page number 19 activity 3 only in activity book you have to do all these activities in your activity book do activity 2 how quickly can you find the answers on page number 23 in learners book you have got two books one is activity and other is learner so you are having different homeworks in the, both of the books learn the spellings kimono hina patrons le necklace surname married unmarried tongue jack kilt okay now i didn't forget the test so here comes your quiz you have to attempt this quiz i know that some of the words are new for you you can use dictionary to find out the collective nouns for these words and you know like um, it is uh, you have to assess yourself you are not allowed to take any help from your elders but i allow you to take help from internet or your dictionaries but it is far better to use dictionaries okay key to previous 
होमवर्क जूनियर इंग्लिश बुक पेज नंबर नाइनटीन एक्टिविटी बी एंड सी टेक आउट योर जूनियर इंग्लिश बुक्स पेज नंबर नाइनटीन ओके एक्टिविटी बुक एक्टिविटी नंबर बी राइट द कलेक्टिव नाउन्स विच आर मिसिंग फ्रॉम दी सेंटेंसेज द एंसर्स आर गिवन हेयर फॉर यू इन द फर्स्ट ब्लैंक स्कूल इन द सेकेंड ब्लैंक गैंग हर्ड शॉल सूट टीम ग्रुप स्वाम लेटर ओके यू हैव टू लाइक राइट दीज वर्ड्स इन दीज ब्लैंक्स यू विल रीड आउट आई आई होप यू हैव रेड इट आउट and you are going to tally this homework your homework with my one and then you will give your yourself uh, like grades or marks theek hai and please do write the correct spellings your teachers when you come to school your teachers are going to check your uh, books but you you must do your homework uh, in your books or in your copies very very nicely before doing you must sharpen your pencils you must write neat and clearly when you are doing your homework you must sit alone no younger sister and brothers should come in um sit with you and like if they are disturbing you they are making your books and copies dirty so please don't allow them to yourself got it okay activity c use your dictionary to find which collections these collective nouns refer to so the first one is galaxy so um the a galaxy of stars orchestra the word is orchestra okay listen guys when you when you face a new word or like when you're reading and a new word comes to you so try to like pronounce that word loudly for two or three times in this way the word comes it fits in your mind and it like never comes out orchestra 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 of musicians fleet of ships sorry uh, uh, um, uh, yes a fleet of ships a troop of soldiers a bouquet of flowers bouquet 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 got it so this is um, all about your today's lecture i hope you have enjoyed your lecture don't forget to stay at home please covid 19 is spreading very fast um and the only way to get rid of covid 19 is you have uh, is to stay at home wash your hands time and again i know the lockdown is over and you guys will run to or rush towards bazaars and markets please it is not a joke don't take it for granted take it serious stay at home or if your moms or your elders are going to markets and shopping for you so oh, please don't go along them they are elders they will take precautionary measures but i know you will be careless and i don't want you guys to catch covid 19 please stay at home and stay safe that's all from me thank you for listening to me bye bye